Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you why Marinette Dupan Chang is my least favorite Miraculous Ladybug character. Alright, let's get into it. <laughs> why I do not like Marinette or like that she's like not my favorite uh basically the way that she feel, like makes herself the victim all the time she's always all like oh Adrian doesn't love me oh Adrian this oh Adrian he ignores me all the time he always shuts me down but she's never actually told him that she's liked him sure she has made like it obvious but let's give Adrian some credit he is a homeschooled sheltered kid who knows nothing about like school or like anybody like that until like this year so we can give adrian that and she's always like saying that's what friends are for or absolutely we're friends that's what friends do she's always friend zoning adrian and sure she's like in the puppeteer too when she's all like yeah you're not my friend we're not friends and he's like if i'm not your friend what am i to you and she's like she has to answer him so yes in her defense, like, she's trying to tell him that she likes him, but she doesn't do that. So she's always, like, blaming Adrian. And Adrian always looks like the villain to Alia and to Nino because, she, oh, you don't like Marinette. Well, that's because Marinette never, like, actually said to Adrian that she likes him. And another thing I don't like about Marinette also has to do with Adrian. It's probably, it, might, it might be just because I love Adrian so much I don't like Marinette. But um, that in one of the episodes where... I don't know if you've seen, like, their webtoons. They're, like, with uh, Marinette's diary. She says if it wasn't for Adrian Agress, she would probably consider liking Cat Noir. And I'm like, okay, cool. But when Adrian Agress starts having feelings for Kagami, she completely dismisses Cat Noir and she turns to Luca. Which I find, like, really rude, considering that Cat Noir has been here this whole time. And then Ladybug even tells him, he, she's all like, there's another boy, that's why I don't like you. But then when Adrian's out of the picture, she just finds a different guy to start liking, even though Cat Noir has been there this whole time. Now, uh, another reason I don't like Marinette is because Marinette gets all this love and, oh, finally, she has Luca, somebody that appreciates her. But then when Adrian starts having feelings for Kagami, everyone hates Kagami. They hate Adrian and Kagami together. They're like, oh, he's such a traitor. How could he do that to Ladybug and Marinette? But when Marinette did the exact same thing, I feel like that's just unfair. I feel like Adrian is the villain now, and now Marinette's, like, the victim. Oh, she's finally found love with Luca, but Adrian can't have feelings for Kagami. I really like Kagami, honestly. I don't know if I like her for Adrian, because I love Adrianette, obviously. But I really do not like how people hate on Kagami just because she likes Adrian. It's Adrian Agress. If you're a girl in that, like, world, you're gonna like Adrian. Um, another reason I don't like Marinette is that she, um, she's always, like, acts like she's better than Cat Note 4. Like, sure, she's Ladybug, and yes, Ladybug's probably the most powerful and miraculous, but she, like, is always acts like she's so much better than him. Like, oh, all you do is, like, make jokes and stuff. And the show has made her like that, too. I know it's, like, an empowerment show for, like, girls, but the show's also made her, like, where... She can save the day without Cat Noir. She has in many some episodes. Adrian gets captured or something, and she has saved the day without Cat Noir. Another reason I don't, <laughs> I have a lot of reasons why I don't like Marinette. Like I said, like I said, I feel like this might have a lot of comments like defending her, and I'm happy if you guys do because she deserves to be defended. I think, I think she's. I like her. I like her character, but she's my least favorite because of these reasons. Because I feel like she cheated Cat Noir. And Cat Noir is the best character in the whole show. Another reason I don't like her is because she's so rude to Chloe. Like, Chloe is rude to Marinette. Yes, I know. I know people are like, what is she talking about? Chloe is rude to Marinette. But when Ladybug has a chance to be a role model and show Chloe what to do and be there for her, she decides not to. Like, she could have given Chloe any different miraculous. She knows how much Chloe wanted to be a miraculous holder. She could have given her any other Miraculous if she couldn't have given her the Bee Miraculous because people knew who she was, but she didn't. She just threw her under the bus. She, like, completely forgot about her. And the only reason she talked to her was because Cat Noir said that you needed to talk to Chloe to clear things up before it's too late. And it ends up being a little too late. 
And when she doesn't share with Cat Noir who the the master is where she keeps going all the time, that made me really mad because I feel like you're not you're she's not better than Cat Noir. She hasn't been a superhero longer. They've been the superheroes equal amount of time. They both have the same amount of experience and the fact that she acts like she's the one in charge and she's the one that's making the calls. Sure, she is Ladybug. She has the miraculous Ladybug power where everything is back to normal and she's the only one that can free the Kumas. But, like, I don't like how she treats Cat Noir like a psychic because I feel like Cat Noir isn't a psychic. There wouldn't be a Ladybug without Cat Noir, but there would be, like, a Batman without Robin because that's been a thing. There's never been, like, a Ladybug without Cat Noir. So they're not psychics to each other. They're both equal superheroes, but Ladybug always does that. One other thing is she favoritizes the people she gives Miraculouses to. Like, the main people she always chooses is Alia and Nino. She's always making them be the superheroes. I feel like that's unfair to the other ones. Like, she could have chosen Chloe, there's Kim, there's Max, there's Luca. She should have chosen all these other people. But she always just chooses Alia and Nino, which, yeah, Alia's her best friend. And I get that because she knows how much Alia likes superheroes. But she needs to give other people a chance. And I feel like she doesn't. She just is worried about doing what she wants to do. Yeah, but those are some of the reasons I don't really like Marinette and Ladybug. But I feel like she's going to have some major character development and redemption in the next season, season four. I don't know if you have seen the teaser trailer yet. It's really crazy. There's not much to it, but... I'm going to do a review on that very soon. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe so you can see it when it comes up. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day.